Dad's head bobs from side to side as we sing at the top of our voices. But it's Amit who can hear all the high notes. Most of the time, Amit is just annoying. But as soon as he starts to sing, something strange happens. It's almost like annoying Amit has been possessed by some kind of bewitching songbird. Then, when he stops singing, it's all about who's going to hold the TV remote again. The car radio is turned right up. It feels as if the whole city is t- tuned into the same song. I haven't seen the film it's from, but Belle and I have been practising the dance moves at lunchtime. Phones are not allowed at our school, but Bella always bends the rules. If someone complained, then her family could probably just buy the school. Or at least buy someone an enormous present so they forget that Bella had brought her phone in. Rain hammers on the roof and cascades down the windscreen. The wipers can't keep up. We're in the middle of three wonky lanes of traffic. Nothing is moving. People press on their horns as if that will make any difference. While we're all singing, it doesn't seem to matter. A man taps on the window and points to a basket of tissues and chewing gum covered in a sheet of plastic. His ragged clothes cling to him and rain runs down his face. He wants me to buy something. Through the car windscreen, he looks blurry, as if the rain started to wash him away. I shake my head, annoyed that he's interrupted my song. The man turns to the car behind instead. I remember my packet, paper package and tap Amit on the shoulder. He stops singing and flashes me one of his megawatt smiles, his other special skill. He takes a donut and pushes it into his mouth. Whole. I need to start documenting this kind of behaviour so that when he's a famous movie star, I can embarrass him instead. Last year, Amit moved to a new school, one which specialises in performing arts. He has normal lessons as well as extra music ones, especially singing. At least he gets to wear blue. My uniform is a shade of green, which doesn't exist anywhere else. Nature would never create a colour so awful with so many plates. I tap him on the shoulder again. When's your audition? Next week. I've got to practice, practice, practice this week and then give my voice a rest for a few days. My singing teacher thinks I'll get a part. Maybe not a big one, but she thinks that's better for my first film. He pushes his hands from side to side in a seat dance. Don't forget, I'm coming to watch, OK? Sure, as long as you don't embarrass me. The irony is, he doesn't even know what irony means. Well, it's going to be the holidays by then, so you should be grateful I'm not busy. He rolls his eyes. I might ask Bella to come too. You don't have to go everywhere with Bella. I don't, I say prickling. She said she wanted to come. She's movie obsessed. Oh, fine, she can come, he says like he's just done me a huge favour. I can tell he's actually quite pleased. He starts humming. Even his humming sounds good.